What about the money? What about my finances? Will I have enough money? The fear of finances, the fear of finances. It is so common, so normal, and I get it. I have them too. What about the money? Will I have enough? Will I earn enough? So in this video, I want to talk more about the fear of finances. I'm so happy you found my channel. And if you don't know me by now, I'm Rachel Smets and I help ambitious professionals who want to break through and quit their nine to five and, and live the life they truly desire, a life they're meant to live and not expected to live. That's what I do and that's what all my videos are about. And so make sure you subscribe, hit that red button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. But the fear of finances, the fear of finances is real. And what is the solution in one word or in a few words only? Well, take responsibility of your finances. You want to succeed, you're afraid of the finances, you have to take responsibility of your finances, of your budget. And that is the simple truth. Is it easy? I didn't say that, but it's the simple truth and solution. How do you do that? You see, so many people out there are like, oh, you know, follow your heart and follow your dream and take the leap of faith and just go out and do it. I never say that, never. Because if you don't have the money and you're taking a big financial risk, then I say, don't do it yet. No, don't do it yet. See, I, it's so easy to tell people, you know, and I've, I've had a lot of people tell me like, oh, Rachel, you really want to start your own business? You want to travel the world? Go and do it. But seriously, no, think about it. If you're completely in debt, and you don't know how you're gonna handle your finances and where money's gonna come from, why would you do that? No, I want you to be responsible. And that's the thing, freedom, freedom comes with responsibility. I talk about that all the time. It's not like, oh, just do it. No, like any other fear, how do you get through it? It's by facing it, by tackling it, by doing something about it. So I want you to look at your finances. I want you to think wisely. I want you to be smart and really think, okay, how am I gonna handle my finances? Do I need more money before I quit my career and I quit my job? Then it's time for you to start saving right now. Maybe you need to save a hundred, maybe $500, maybe a thousand dollars. I don't know. It's up to you. You have to figure out your plan and know what finances you need to survive for the next coming, maybe months, maybe a year. It depends on your goal. You have to know your goal, be clear on your goal. And by the way, if you don't have the clarity and you're still completely stuck, I have a free um, training video to get you unstuck which is in the description right below. And so where was I? If you have a dream and a goal, you have to map out like, okay, what do I need? What money do I need to reach that? What if I try it out and I don't get an income right away? Then will I have enough savings? If you need savings, it's time for you to start saving right now and maybe take the leap in six months. So you have six months of savings. Maybe you don't need to buy those new shoes or a new outfit. Maybe you have to think twice about, do I need to go out to a restaurant every weekend? Do I need that particular food or meal, which is actually much more expensive than if I just cook for myself and buy the groceries in the supermarket? You know, think about it. Think about your expenses. Look at your expenses. Look at the money that you need. And then, and then do the necessary. Take responsibility, right? But money is super important. I would never take the leap if I don't have a buffer of money. I know for myself, I first, I stayed into my career. I stayed into my job, which I didn't like, but I was making really good money. And so I saved because I knew I wanted to start my own business. I knew I wanted to travel the world. I knew I wanted to grow my online business, but that doesn't mean I had clients right away. It didn't mean I had income right away. I knew that. So I needed that buffer of money. Maybe you have debt, you know, that, that you have to 
solve all of that first. You don't want to start your own business. You don't want to take the leap of faith if you don't have the money. Be wise about it. Be smart about it. Take responsibility. Freedom comes with responsibility. And finances is super important. You have to support yourself. If you are having a partner who can support you, great. I'm on my own. I'm single. I don't have anybody to support me. So I need to make sure I can support myself. So I want you to take a good look at your finances. And before you take a big jump and a big leap of faith, (laughs) then think wisely. Think about your finances. So tell me, did you take a good look at your finances? Do you know what to do? Do you have a plan financially? Like how are you going to continue? Are you ready to take the leap of faith? Or is there something that you still need to figure out or save money? What can you save on? What are things that you're actually spending money on that you think, well, maybe I don't really need that. Of course, it's great if you look good in new clothes, but do you really need that? If you want to start your own business and you can save up some money if you don't buy the clothes, right? So think about it and comment below because I want to know from you, hey, what's your biggest takeaway and how are you handling your finances? And again, make sure if you're still stuck and you need the clarity to grab that free training I have in the link right below so that you can get unstuck and start moving forward to the life that you desire. And yeah. Oh, did you subscribe to my channel, that red button and hit that bell as well. So you don't miss any of my new videos and I will see you in the next video.